What do you mean by business intelligence? Then, what is uh, Power BI and what is, uh, <clears throat> sorry, why it is called the Powerful BI tool? Then we will see the key benefits of Power BI, why the Power BI is so popular in the market. Next, we will see the flow of Power BI. For example, if I want to create any dashboard, any final report from the scratch data, from the raw data, so what should be the flow? What should, uh, what are the different steps I have to follow for creation of final project? Uh, components of Power BI. Sixth will be uh, Power BI architecture. And finally, we will see the building blocks of Power BI. So this is just a basic introduction. So first of all, let's move on to the business intelligence. The, the tool is Microsoft Power BI. Okay, so in that Power BI, what do you mean by BI is the business intelligence. Okay, BI. So first of all, we will discuss about what do you mean by business intelligence? As per the exact definition or uh, what you can say prescribed definition is that BI is a set of processes. It is an architecture and a technology. What it will do? It is converting your raw data into the meaningful information so that a user can take the appropriate decisions from that meaningful data. I am giving you the simplest example. If you are purchasing any product from any particular store, let's say Big Basket. Okay. So as a manager, I want to track all the records or I want to find out any trend or I want to uh, analyze my records. I want to analyze each customer. So I have to find out the customer IDs their name, their uh, purchasing orders, their purchasing products, their behavior, which products they are buying, their frequency, whether they are uh, uh, purchasing the product daily, weekly, uh, on the weekend, or um, after two months, after three months, or monthly basis. So from this data, I can recommend the personalized uh, product or personalized recommendation to each customer separately so that the profit of my business will get increased. Okay. So from this existing data, I can do some processing and I am finding out some output. I am find out, I'm going to find out some insights so that I can take the decisions. Okay, for example, customer ID 01 is frequently buying the groceries. So I can recommend all the groceries product to that customer 01. I can recommend the newly uh, launched product uh, according to the groceries to that particular customer. For example, customer uh, Customer 10, customer ID 10 is purchasing the products related to um, kids, related to newborn baby. So I can recommend the products related to the kids, related to the toys to that particular customer 10. So what I'm doing exactly, I'm uh, checking my existing data. From that existing data, from that raw data, I'm doing some processing part and I'm recommending and I'm finding out some decisions. I'm finding out some insights. So this complete process is called as the business intelligence. So using this process, using this technique or using this, what I can say, technologies, what I can, what I can do, I'm finding out the profitable business actions from the raw data. So my decisions can be made on this data ke upar ki aage mujhe kya karna hoga so that my, pro, uh, my uh, company's profit, my business profit will get increased. Okay, so this complete process is called as the business intelligence. If I want to follow this business intelligence process on my existing data, so these are the four broadly classification of the step. First step you have to do is data mining means cleaning the data, checking the data, scanning the data. If you want some data is not relevant, you just delete that data. So whatever you want to do the processing part on your existing data, this you can do in the first step, that is the data mining. 
Second is the analytical processing. Not necessary. You are focusing on the one data set. You are connecting to the multiple data sets. See, one data is coming from, let's say, south region. Second data is coming from the west region. Third data is coming from the central region. And I'm uh, clubbing this data and analyzing the whole data at a time. This may be a reason, right? So this is called the analytical processing. So you are combining the multiple data set to check the, uh, what you can say, complete result. Third step is the development part. If you want to calculate something, if you want to write some formula, if you want to write some logic, you can do that in the third step. And fourth step is the visualization. Uh, means uh, we are showing the data in terms of graphs, in terms of some visuals, some images, so that instead of looking into the rows and columns data, end user can see the same data in the visual cues. Okay, in terms of line chart, bar chart, pie chart, scattered plot. So we have a lot more charts are available in the BI. So instead of looking into the boring rows and columns data, because the data may be huge. In that case, instead of scroll up and scroll down, I am just bifurcating my complete data into the small graphs or visuals. So this complete process is called as the business intelligence. Hope this is clear to everyone, the introduction of BI. Any doubt? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma <clears throat> okay, good. <clears throat> Sorry. On the right hand side, there is one quadrant you can see. Can you see this quadrant? This quadrant is published by Gartner. Gartner is one of the company, along with the Gartner, there is a Forrester company is also there. So this both companies, what they are doing? They are every year, they are checking the tools which are available in the market for analytics and business intelligence platform. And they are giving the ranking as the leader, as a challenger, as an issue players and visionaries. If you check the leader quadrant, Microsoft is on the top. There are actually three products or three tools are there. Microsoft, Salesforce, Tableau, and Click. This report is according to the January 20, uh, 23 data, means for the current year. And according to the current year data, Gartner will give you the ranking for Microsoft Power BI. So we are interested in the topest, uh, <clears throat> topmost product or topmost tool that is the Microsoft Power BI because it is at the rank first. Now let's discuss why the Power BI is on the top, on the quadrant. So why Power BI is called, uh, Power BI is called the Powerful BI tool because Power BI is the data visualization and along with that business intelligence tool, which is developed by the Microsoft what they can do? They can convert the data from the different data source. The data source may be any file. It may be your Excel file, CSV file, any SQL server data, any Azure data directory, any data lake, big data, whatever is your data source. They are collecting that data and it will convert that data into the interactive dashboard and BI report. What do you mean by dashboard? What do you mean by report? We will discuss this in detail. Okay, no problem. We will discuss that part in detail. But what Power BI will do? It is converting the data from the different data source and it is converting that data into the meaningful and visual information. Not in the rows and columns. With interactive dashboards so that end user can interact with that report. End user can choose a particular field. End user can filter out the data and accordingly your complete report will get changed. End user can give the input. According to that input, your complete dashboard will get changed. Okay, this is called the interactivity. So, Power BI can make this interactivity with the end user. That's why this is so popular in the market. And Gartner has given the first rank. Okay, so let's discuss what are the key features for Power BI. First is the interactive BI dashboard. So Power BI desktop is a tool that we are going to install in your system in which you can make an interactive uh, dashboard or report. Bana 
Next is a real time data. Power BI is connecting to the real time data. Real time data means actually the data which is available in the market. For example, any bank related data. Okay. So if you are connecting to any bank data or financial institute data, so if any amount is credited from particular account, any amount is debited, any FD is created, any RD is created, or any transaction is happened, so same transaction should get affected at your dashboard level in the Power BI. That is called the real-time data. If the number got changed from 8 to 10, same updation will automatically get updated or automatically get uh, available in your dashboard. This is called the real-time data. You are connecting to the real-time data in the Power BI. So there are a lot more connections options. We will see that later. Manage visibility. Manage visibility means suppose I am the manager and I am only interested in the central region data. I am the manager of central region data. So uh, remaining region should get hide from me because for the security reason, uh, reason I am interested only in the central region data. So if I am looking for the dashboard in the Power BI, so I can only see the central region data. Okay, so this row level security you, you can provide in the Power BI. If you are the admin, you have the complete access for all the regions. If you are the user, so you can see only limited data, not crucial data. So this visibility you can manage in the Power BI. Excel integration. Can anyone tell me uh, why this Excel integration or why Excel is so important? Uh, most of the students have completed the Excel module, right? So why Excel is so popular in the market? And why this is the key feature of Power BI? Can anyone link these two points? Power BI Excel के साथ integrate कर सकता है. ये एक key feature जैसा यहाँ पे mention हुआ है. Why this is the key feature? Why Excel is so important in the market? Can anyone tell me? Well, we, we don't. We don't know daily updation of name and the numbers. Hmm. Uh, so, Excel is used for to store the information hmm. for daily updation. Yes. This is the correct answer. Along with that, we can say that before coming for Power BI in the market, before uh, any tool, Excel is so old and very popular tool. Right now, the projects are still working on the Excel. And if you want to integrate or if you want to upgrade your project to the Power BI, if the Excel is, um, what you can say, if Excel is the previous version and Power BI is the current version, so there is the integration is there. If there is the integration, you can easily migrate your project from Excel to Power BI. No more changes or no more advanced tool you have to implement. So, you don't have any tools in it. Your project is already in Excel mein hai and now you are integrating the Power BI into it. So, if there is the uh, Excel facilities there in between as a breach, so you can easily convert your project from Excel to Power BI. And both are the Microsoft tool. Excel is a Power BI tool and Power BI is again a Microsoft tool. Okay, Excel B Power uh, Microsoft ka tool hai or Power BI bhi Microsoft ka tool hai. So that's why we can easily upgrade our current project from Excel to Power BI. I can easily publish my Excel report via Power BI. If you are created any report in the Excel, no problem. You can publish that Excel project via Power BI. Okay, because this is the very key and important feature in the Power BI. That's why Power BI is so popular, right? Abhi bhi bohut sare projects, company mein jo old projects hai, wo still Excel ke upar depend hai. 
बट सपोज आपको एक्सेल टू पावर बी आई आपका प्रोजेक्ट अपग्रेड करना है तो एक्सेल पावर बी में इंटीग्रेट होगा तो वो ज्यादा इजी रहेगा दैट्स वाई दिस इज द की फीचर consistent reporting and analyzing so every time the data is getting changed at the back end it is automatically get updated in your reporting that is the consistent reporting fast turnaround and low cost so if you are the student and if you are just beginning the data analysis you can install the power bi freely in your laptop in your system there is no any license copy required there is no any uh, uh, what you can say paid version you have to use power bi is absolutely free you can easily download that product in your system and you can work and if you want to buy the premium copy or uh, license copy that is not too much cost so it is a uh, low cost uh, license is also available in the market regular updates or uh, generally pago bi uh, showing you the updates weekly okay so once you have installed the power bi in your system every week automatically there is the update button is available you can update the features whatever is trending in the market so it is automatically get available in your power bi desktop so regular updates are also available allow to deploy multiple dashboards in the power apps so office 365 if you are creating the account in the office 365 that is the microsoft official website so there are a lot more power apps are also available so once you have created one dashboard in the power bi you can use the same dashboard in all power apps which is available in the microsoft office 365 we will discuss that later that is not the part of our discussion but this is the important key feature available in the power bi that's why it is so popular in the market self service business intelligence yes this last point is very important any idea about this any basis uh, what should be this the cloud's a pair feature self service business intelligence maybe it will provide the conclusions that uh, should be drawn from the data exactly suggest yes very good vishali so even you are coming from the non bi background aapko bi ke bare mein kuch bhi pata nahi hai aapko power bi ke bare mein kuch bhi pata nahi if you are coming from the non it background or non bi background do you can create the several charts several analysis from the power bi power bi will provide you one button that button is called as the quick insight button if you clicking on that button it will automatically give you some several charts based on your data so what power bi will do power bi will scan your data set it will scan the columns oh this is the uh, date column so it will create the line chart if it is the bulky data it will create the scatter plot it will create the outliers so based on your data power bi will create the several charts automatically for you you no need to think on this ki what should be on the x axis what should be on the y axis uh, what to calculate how to plot no no worries so power bi what it will do you just click on it we can side button it will create the several charts for you that is called the self service business intelligence feature okay so this feature is uh, available in the power bi so that's why it is so popular and on the top of the market hope the features are clear to everyone let's uh, check the power bi component power pivot power query power view power map power bi desktop and power qa so what i can do you can see this component at your end so before that you just try to install the power bi in your system to main aapko ek link deti hu chat box pe you just click on that link and download the power bi exe file run that exe file okay 
and then we will see how this power bi component look like exactly in the system so ye theoretical dekhne se acha hum exactly usko practically dekhte hai ki power pivot kaise dikhta hai what should be the power query uh, how power view look like what is the power map what is the power bi desktop what is the power qa these are the just terms but once you install that in your system we will see exactly okay this window is called the power pivot this window is called the power query so wo aapko zyada dhyan mein rahega is it okay to everyone yes ma'am okay just a minute i'm sharing one link with you i have already installed this power bi in my system so if you have any doubt anyone just share your screen and try to download so that everyone can see what is the exact process of downloading to mere paas already install hai power bi to aap mein se koi bhi ek aapka screen share karo aur download karo so that kisi ko kuch bhi issue aaye to hum wahan pe discuss kar sakte hain Have you got the link? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can I share my screen? okay wait now here it is asking you two types whether you want 32 bit or whether you want 64 bit so how to check whether we want 32 bit or 64 bit so what you can do open any of your microsoft product it may be your word it may be your excel it may be anything go to the account option on the left bottom corner go to the about excel option which is on the right bottom corner yeah click on that read the first line microsoft excel mso version 32 bit means in your system there is a 32 bit microsoft compatibility is there so you just go with the first option otherwise you can go with the second option and now you can click on the download it will take some 2 to 3 minutes not more than that
in when you just visit this second link in the incognito window. Do you know incognito window, how to create the incognito window? Yes. Paste over here. Okay, is it asking my address? Okay, just wait, I'm giving you the second link. Return to previous page. Yeah. Okay. It is giving me my address. Okay. So. Okay, so we are going from scratch. Just open this. Products. For enterprises. For enterprises, us me second option, yes. Switch to India English. See plans and pricing. Office 365, second tab. Yeah. Scroll down a little bit. Try for free is even, right? So just click on the even. Try for free. Even. Second product. Now it is now giving you the fresh mail ID, right? So everyone, hope this is up to you. What you can do, Harshita, you just copy this link and paste over here so that everyone will get this link. Okay, ma'am. Because I will send it to you, already sign in, so it will give you a link. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Ashada. So everyone, you just use this link and create your mail ID. Okay, good. Enter your Gmail ID. So process, see all of them, after that, try to do it. If you don't have any personal ID in your Gmail, there is no problem, because it is just... और चेक कर रहा है नेक्स्ट सेटअप अकाउंट या 
दिस इज द डिटेल्स वी हैव टू फिल जहां पे स्टार है वही मेंशन करो बिकॉज़ दैट इज द कंपलसरी वन यू कैन स्किप द ऑप्शनल वन कंपनी नेम आईटी वेदांत और कंपनी साइज रैंडमली 1000 लिया तो भी चलेगा सिर्फ फर्स्ट टिक रखना है सेकंड टिक नहीं रखना है यस ओके सो एक ओटीपी आएगा आपको ये नंबर पे सेंड वेरिफिकेशन कोड you have to remember you just hide the password okay um uh, you can remember this uh, mail id you just click on this save option first of all to ye mail id aapko dhyan mein rakhna hai kyunki iske next step mein hi aapko ye pura mail id likhna padega so aap kahi pe to bhi isko note down karke rakh do you can note down this complete thing ashoka patil at the rate it vedan 296 on microsoft.com so that you can use this same mail id in the next page इन आपकी एक्सी फाइल और इंस्टॉल हो गई क्या चेक कर लो यस यू जस्ट रन दिस फाइल ओपन हाँ ओके शो इन द फोल्डर डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस फाइल और रन एज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर नेक्स्ट ठीक है तो ये हाँ नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट ही करना है आपको एक्सेप्ट दिस इज द डिफॉल्ट लोकेशन ऑफ योर ई फाइल ओके यहाँ पे सेटअप रहेगा आपका सी ड्राइव प्रोग्राम फाइल्स माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पावर बी एड एक्सट्रॉ ओके नेक्स्ट इंस्टॉल ठीक है तो ये होते रहेगा तब तक आप वो चेक कर लो okay is it uh, payment and for i think we have used this free version right mm. what it is asking you to pay okay no problem just leave it no need to pay anything just leave this page we will concentrate on the power bi desktop first of all and then we will try to check this apps mai aur kaun sa app without payment get like ka option dekhta hai kya dekhti hu ek baar okay hope this process is clear to everyone how to create the account and how to install yes ma'am 
Let me just check any other product which is absolutely free. No need to pay any single rupee, okay? Yes, Arshida, you can stop sharing. Sabi ko idea. Done everyone. Sabi ka download ho gaya hai. Install ho gaya hai. It is in process now. Okay. So I'm sharing my screen so that you can have an idea. Kaise dikta hai Pabu Bia. So, ये पावो भी है डेस्कटॉप का आइकन आपको यहाँ पे मिल जाएगा, ओके? Okay? You just double click on this icon. Is it visible to everyone? Yes. So this is the welcome page for our BI desktop. Here is gate data, recent resources. So whatever the projects you have handled recently, this is the list. If you have the first time user, so this recent resources is blank for you. These are the other reports other than this list out thing. Getting started, you just click on this. Uh, if you want to buy a license copy, there is an option is there. On the right hand side, new updates available. Monthly, almost monthly, the new updates are available. If you want to check that, you just click over here and you can download. There is the Power BI community is there. So if you want to create the account in the community for the discussion on the latest update or any latest trend, any new problem is available in the market. If you want to give the solution on that problem, whatever is the discussion, you just click on this Power BI blog and forum. You can take a participation in this forum and community. Tutorials. This tutorial link is the official Microsoft link. Okay, so Microsoft will provide you some small videos for your reference for each topic. So if you want to uh, check this tutorials, so you just go with this link. Otherwise, you just close. Okay, so our first component is the power pivot component. So let's discuss and let's see where this component is available. 
power pivot component you can see on the left hand side this is the complete first page having some file home insert so we will discuss this in our next session but first of all i will show you uh, components kahan pe milte hain so on the left hand side if you check this is the report icon is there this is the data icon is there and this is the model icon is there on the left corner okay left vertical line is there if you check this is the three icons are available if you check the data if you check the model so this combinedly is called as the power pivot component this window this whatever you can see over here this window is called the power pivot component above this the data is there data window this window is called as the power pivot component so data along with model this combinedly we can call it as the पावर पिफोर्ट कंपोनेंट ये जो दो विंडो आपको दिखाई दे रही है ये दोनों को मिला के पावर पिफोर्ट कंपोनेंट बनता है नेक्स्ट कंपोनेंट इज अवर पावर क्वेरी कंपोनेंट व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ दिस कंपोनेंट व्हाई वी आर यूजिंग दिस कंपोनेंट एवरीथिंग सी इन डिटेल हर एक कंपोनेंट का सेपरेट टॉपिक है सो डोंट वरी हर एक टॉपिक के लिए कुछ असाइनमेंट्स है सो यू विल गेट हैंड्स ऑन ऑन एवरी कंपोनेंट डोंट वरी टुडे दिस इज जस्ट अ इंट्रोडक्शन ओके सो पावर क्वेरी कंपोनेंट कहां पे है इफ यू चेक दिस इज द ट्रांसफॉर्म डेटा ऑप्शन इफ यू क्लिक ऑन दिस ट्रांसफॉर्म डेटा new window will be available right now we have not connected to any of the data source that's why everything will be blank sabhi blank rahega humne abhi tak kuch bhi data connection nahi kiya hai so if you check this new pop up or new window is available untitled power query editor if you check the title of this page power query editor this window whatever you can see right now this is called the power query component next is the power view component third is power view component so let's go back close this right now we have discussed the data and model so this is the first that is the report this first page whatever you can see right now this is called the power view component okay you can see some visualization option filter option fields option a uh, home insert modeling all this option in the power view component power map the name itself indicates that map so map is nothing but the world map okay so we will do the visualization usme hum detail mein dekhne hi wale hai ye visualization kya hai but if you check the map and full map if you check this two components which is giving you the template for our map world map this two templates we can call it as the power map component you need data to build a visual select the get data to add some so in the next session we will discuss how to connect to the data how to populate the data over here everything in detail but right now you can understand this two templates whatever you can see right now this is called the power map component power bi desktop it is the combined result of all the components sabhi ka mila ke power bi desktop banta hai jo pura package aapne abhi install kiya hai that is called the power bi desktop that is the one of the component and last one is the power qa if you double click on anywhere randomly it will create one small box and in that box what it is showing add data to this report to use qa this window is called the power qa component okay it is just like your google search engine but it will work when you have connected to some data ye tabhi work hoga jab aap koi data ko connect karoge so next session mein hum detail mein dekhenge ki ye sabhi components ko use kaise karna hai hope this is clear to everyone all the components